All right, and it's been a little while since I recorded last. Um, I figure it's about time I checked in because this is the first time I've been I've been training a lot um, against the Elite Four mostly lately, just because they're the most efficient. And um, this is the first time I've gotten back to the Elite Four without using any items at all during battle and gotten all the way through them to the champion. Um, and some things have changed in the meantime. Um, I've also I d did a few more things. Um, well, most just one thing, I guess, technically. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time competing in the Pokemon World Tournament tournaments, the right side ones, the, the various region-themed leader tournaments. And I'm, I'm not going to show those off in this Let's Play because they're hard. They're really hard. The Unova one's pretty easy. I beat the Johto one. I came very close in the Kanto and the Hoenn ones. I haven't tried the Sinnoh one yet. But I've mostly been playing those for funsies in my free time. Um, because if you lose them, you get shards. And so I've got a few more shards. Not a lot, not enough to do anything. I had a few more shards. And I realized I needed to get my guys better moves to do that. So at first, I went and I changed some of their moves around. Um, Lucario does have close combat now. Um, it's also... Uh, would be summer in in the game now for some reason. So Saw's Buck is in his summer form, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think I gave you anything, did I? No. Um, no. No. <laughs> um, Zorark's the one I changed the most, though, as I was grinding up because I did I did some grinding too. Again, mostly on the Elite Four in the meantime. Uh, but as I was grinding up, Zoroark learned Night Days, and I'm like, you know what? He can learn Nasty Plot. That was a thing he tried to learn at one point. And his special attack is higher than his physical attack. Not by, like, a ton, but by a decent amount. So I went and I gave him Nasty Plot and Flamethrower, and I did teach him Night Days. Um, so now he's a pretty solid mixed attacker. If I need to hit somebody who's physically weak, I can use this. And it's there's there's a pretty pretty decent chance of getting a crit with it. But everything else, I, I use these, mostly. And the illusion tends to give me a chance to get off Nasty Plot. And Night Days can lower accuracy, so it's a pretty tricky move set, all things considered. And the Razor Claw does, of course, also increase the crit chance of those, so that's that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna save real quick, and um, I'm going to attempt Iris. I'm going to attempt Iris without having to use any items during battle. I probably won't show the whole battle. I'll probably just show, like, particularly harrowing moments. But, um, I do want to at least try it. Try to get through her without using... I'll use one item. Because, again, she'll use one item. But I still... I I don't particularly. I'm, I'm, I'm a little annoyed with myself. But I, I imagine AJ would feel kind of bad for using two items against Iris when Iris only had access to one. Welcome, Challenger! Yada, yada, yada. Alright, let's get right to this. Still really like this music and this intro screen. is still really cool looking. This is just a fun champion battle. I don't think Iris is my favorite champion, but she's not a bad one. Did her High Dragon have a fire-type move? I don't know if it did. I don't want to risk it. Let's switch into Arcanine. If it does, we can absorb it and send the power back, right? In theory, anyway. Yeah, it's got a Fire Blast. Okay. But ideally, Lucario would be the perfect Pokemon to take this thing down, but I don't know that I trust him to try, unfortunately. It's got Surf, too. Are you serious? Hmm. This thing could be a problem. Try a special move this time. See if that does more damage. The pain might be, yeah, I know you feel your Pokemon's pain. You're you're weird. Alright, try that. Didn't do a lot. Hmm. Needs somebody who's faster. Who can actually hit this thing for good damage. Not really sure who that would be. Apparently Sigilyph is faster. I mean, maybe Lucario would have been faster. I just didn't want to risk it. He's such a good Pokemon. But that's that's at least the Hydreigon down, so that's, that's something. Now, uh, here's a Pokemon I trust Lucario to deal with a little bit better. Um, Lapras. 
to actually see if I can get a sword stance off too. Just so I'm doing a little extra damage to it. Hydra pump. Did a lot of damage. Holy crap. Okay. Um, that's not particularly good. It's definitely getting no ice moves. Try horn leech on it. It did pretty good damage. Missed with Blizzard, that's good. Let's see what an energy ball does now. Come on. Do some really solid damage, please. Okay, cool. And now the Blizzard hits. Dang it. I survived, somehow. Um, try for a Horn Leech. She's gonna full restore, because of course she is. Um. Okay. I've been training a lot. And like I, like I mentioned, I just barely... It, it was an arbitrary... Um, an, an arbitrary point. But I wanted to get through the Elite Four without using any items. To kind of prove that I was ready for this. I don't think I was actually ready for this yet. This is a, this is a hard battle. <laughs> uh, here's my one item. Did I use... I think I used all my max revives just in other stupid situations. Like, in between Elite Four battles and stuff. That was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. Miss me with Blizzard, please. Nope. Alright. That's fine. Lucario can come in and mop up with close combat. <sighs> Thankfully, he did. I've been, I would have been real annoyed if he hadn't. Okay, what's next? Dredagon. Okay. Let's, um... Go into Sigilyph, I guess, so I can hit with an ice move that doesn't make physical contact. Because, again, I don't remember if her Dredagon has rough skin or not. I don't think it does, actually, the more I think about it. I think Drayden's did and hers didn't in, in Black and White 1, anyway. And I imagine this is, it's the same way in this game, but I'm not 100% sure. Solid damage. That, mm, yeah, yikes, okay. Holy crap. Jesus. Alright. It's a really bad position in my team for Zoroark, too. I put him there without really thinking about it. And now his illusion just doesn't work. I really did not come prepared to this battle. Ugh. God. What else have you got? Agron? I know exactly who to use for Agron. It's close. This is a close one. I'm, I'm a little worried. <laughs> Will this take Agron down with a single hit? I'm crossing my fingers. Okay, cool. I'm pretty sure Samurott was the same level as Agron back during my first fight with her too, and it took it down with one hit, so that's kinda to be expected, I guess. God, I don't know who's good who who would be good for this Haxorus. Haxorus is probably her most dangerous Pokemon. I don't even know what to use. I can get a crit. It might be enough to make a difference. I did. It's got Outrage. And there's no way to just switch in to Outrage. Switch in a solid defense to Outrage in this game because fairies don't exist yet. Okay. Lucario, come on. I need... I need... I, he also learned Extreme Speed. Um, I need to go first. <laughs> I need this to work. Or I could try extreme speed? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I have to give it a try. Because I want to do at least some damage to it, and I'm not going to survive an outrage. God. Alright. Come on. Nope. And then the outrage is going to knock me out. It didn't get confused either, which means it's going to do massive damage to Samurai. And her last Pokemon is Archeops, right? Which is going to be faster than me, it's just going to knock me out. Alright, cool. God damn it. So even with... E even at these higher levels... I mean, she's at higher levels too, but you know what I mean. I still can't beat her with just one item. 
Like, I highly doubt that even healing Samurai at this point would be enough to save me. Because Archaeops is going to know acrobatics, right? God dang it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Shoot. Yeah, there it goes. Damn. I guess I'm grinding up a little bit more. And then I'll come back and try fighting her again. Holy crap. There is... Well, an opponent specifically, but a pair of opponents total. And I do want to try to defeat again. And that's the Game Freak guys on floor 22 of the Game Freak building. Who I still have not come back to rematch. So let's head in here. And, um... First guy was this one here, right? I'm probably just going to jump straight to the point in the battle where I got knocked out last time, honestly. I was in that Snorlax a little early this time. So I'll just, I'll show me fighting Snorlax, then I'll skip the Licky Licky and um, show me fighting the rest of his guys, I guess, after that. Assuming he, you, 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 get what, you get what I'm saying. Okay, a lot of damage. I set up I set up a little bit. I dodged his superpower somehow. I really expected Zoroark to get knocked out by this thing. But um that's 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 good. Um I set up two nasty plots, I think. So my um night days is at three times its usual power. So this is the benefit to having a specially powerful Zoroark. Will this take down Licky Licky with one hit? Looks like it, yep, cool. Zorar's getting all the levels here, but I don't even care at this point. Um, did I see the Wigglytuff last time? I don't think I did. Let, let's just let's just see the battle from here now. It looks like he's, aside from Azumarill, he's a team of all normal types, or what were normal types back at the time. Um, which is which is pretty cool. Just big bulky normal types. Um Hmm, a little mola, okay. Which is another water type, so I guess... Only, only the only non-normal types I'll use are water types? This is supposed to be based on, like, the actual staff member's favorite team or something, right? How much will this do? Okay, cool. I'm um, down a lot of night dazes, but, I mean, that's fine for now. Ah, what great Pokemon! Uh, the great number of steps uh, seems to have increased their trust in you. Okay, I mean that—that that is technically how that works, but it's a weird way of saying it. I hope we can battle again tomorrow. Yeah, and that's the thing I could do. I could come back every day and do this battle again. So who are you? Oh, you've become strong. I can tell. Yeah. Okay. So this is the other one then. Cool. Go ahead and show this battle real fast, and then I'll go grind some more off camera, I guess, and we'll come back and try to fight. Iris again, because I have other battles I want to show off. Um, <laughs> before we go and do any of the stuff that's not, you know, this kind of stuff again, right? And it's going to fake me out. going to break the stinking illusion, which sucks. Uh, try for a nasty plot so I can flamethrower it. Because my dark type moves just aren't going to do enough damage. Okay, there's its Night Slash. Okay, cool. Even less than I expected, which is good. Like, I, I wouldn't have expected Flamethrower to be a move that I would like on my Zoroark, but I actually really like it on my Zoroark. It's pretty good. Sip Strike, okay. It's really fast. That might be faster than me. With level 78. Jeez. I'm faster, though. That's good. At least I did level up my guys enough that I'm on par with these guys now, but it looks like this guy's Pokemon are even higher level on average than mine are. Alright, let's, let's keep fighting with Zoroark for as long as I can. And then, whatever level Zoroark is at at the end of this battle, I'll add one just for safety's sake, and then level everybody else up to that level before I try Iris again. Right? That's the semi pour down, okay. A, a properly set up Zoroark is, is pretty monstrous, too. Does he just have all three of the monkeys? That's weird. 
Um, I only have one night days left. That's that's the annoying thing, though. Um, night days doesn't have a ton of, of power points. I mean, I could PP up it, I guess. I do have a few of those left. I use some of them. I do have a few of those left. Simi Sage, I could take down with Flamethrower. So that's not that big a deal. And if his last one doesn't resist fl resist fire, I can probably take it down with Flamethrower, too. Or at least do some massive damage to it. And I guess I could try to find a way to put Sword Stance. Okay. Um... Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just go for go for night slash then. Try to find a way to put swords dance on this guy, but I like having a specially offensive guy on this team. That's not my my starter. That's only kind of specially offensive. All right, 81. So we'll be trying to grind up to level 82 then. Morimoto. After all, I am the strongest and greatest. Eh, just kidding. I mean, you were pretty strong. Still swept both of these guys with just my Zorark, though, which was starkly different from the first time I fought them. And you think about battles very thoroughly. I lost, but I learned a lot from you. Besides, it was fun. I'm back again tomorrow. All right. I'm the sound designer. I just woke up. I wonder what kind of music people like. Yeah. I'm the graphics designer. To draw something I've never seen, I need to observe a lot of objects. And not only do I have to look at them, but I also need to analyze them and truly absorb them. Cool. The game is something uh, to uh, think about, program, and at the end, hope for. Work, 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 work. Please work. Okay. That's uh, pretty indicative of the game freak mindset, I think. P work, work, work. Please work. Hello, I'm the game director. Ah, you're working on your Pokedex. If you fill it up a lot, please... Again, okay, that's just for the certificate. Can I talk to you? Hello, this is Game Freak. Yep. Who are you? This place is cold because we have to keep the server cool. Neat. Alright, so that's all of that. <sighs> Time to grind. Alright, so... I got a little bored and did more training than I intended to, so I'm not exactly at level 82 on everybody. Also, I had to go back through the league, and Zorark and Sigilyph and Lucario are all very, very useful here. But we're finally ready, and... and, and straight up, if I can't beat Iris, rematch, even, even the rematch version of Iris, with a team of mid-80s, mid to low 80s, then with with without using more than one item in battle, then I don't I don't deserve to beat her, frankly. Okay, let's um let's get get up here. Okay. Welcome Challenger, yeah. We've we've done this before. Let's just get to it. Hmm, did I remember to switch the order, my guys? I did not. Cool. That's cool. Um Hmm. I don't know, I'll try to do a little damage with Arcanine. This, this was a bad call, though. I burned it. That's something. My game's acting up now. I have been playing for a while, so maybe it's just because I've been playing for a while. I don't know. It's kind of weird, though. Alright, let's, um... Yeah, the pain in your Pokemon. Great. Uh, let's anticipate another Surf. And, and switch into Sawsbuck? The Sawsbuck isn't super useful in this battle anyway. Okay. Did practically nothing. Burns hurting it. Can I outspeed it? I can. That is a good sign. It di didn't quite take it out. Shoot. I dodged Fire Blast though. And that took it out before she could heal, which is good. That's what you want. Arcanine got some experience, and Sawsbuck got some experience. Dredagon is next. Let's switch to my usual choice here, that being Sigilyph. For that Ice Beam. Come on. I'm such a high level now. This better one-shot it. It still didn't. Jeez. Her Pokemon are really good. Holy crap! That did so much damage. That wasn't even a crit, was it? I didn't I didn't think it would do that much damage. Maybe maybe he one shot me last time and I just don't remember. Jesus. Alright, well you know, Lapras next, okay. I'll get a charge beam off, or at least try to. Just to soften it up a little, right? 
Go, charge beam. Boom. Yeah, it didn't do much, but you know. I can dodge its attack. I didn't, so it doesn't matter. I was gonna say I could, do, I could attack it again, but that did not happen. All right, um, let's go then into Lucario, I guess, is my best shot here. Close combat. Boom. Come on. Yes. Beautiful. Lowers my defenses, but that doesn't really matter. Agron. Switch. To Samurai. And this should one-shot it again. It one-shot it last time. And it did. Very good. Boom. Haxorus. Now here, here's the tough one. <sighs> she still has Archaeops after this again, too, doesn't she? Alright, let's, let's... Okay, try to set up a little bit so we're doing a little extra damage. I don't, I don't really like the look of that. Uh, I don't like that it's faster than me either, even though I've got five levels on it. Come on, waterfall. Let's go. Still setting up. I don't. Oh, I don't like this at all. Shoot. Um. Did good damage. Here comes the outrage. All right. I kind of wanted to knock me out at this point. Yeah, okay. So now I can swoop in and hopefully hit with something super effective while Outrage is going, so she can't quite heal up. Can I, go, can I outspeed it? I cannot. Will I survive a double power Outrage? I won't. My god. Okay. Zoroark come out, I guess? Jesus Christ. Am I gonna lose to this thing again? Because I gave it time to set up? God. It's faster than my Zoroark, too. Jesus. Oh, I really dislike this Pokemon confused now, which gives me something. Um, god. It is bad, though, because now she can she can use a full restore. She hasn't used one of those yet. Hit yourself. Nope, just using Outrage again. Christ! I don't know what to do at this point. Okay, it hit itself. Knocked itself out. Okay, that's something. God. Sawsbuck does not stand a chance against Archaeops, though. Not a chance. Cool. So I guess I'm using my one item. Shoot. Who can beat it? Who can even beat it? The only Pokemon here that I'm sure is going to... Well, I'm fairly sure will attack it first is Zorark, so maybe Zorark is the best shot. Let's try it. Ugh. Okay, Zorark is faster. Come on. All right. Good job. Good job, Zoroark. That was a good battle. Even at a higher level, that was a good battle. Jeez. Phew, I gave it everything I had, but still, I just couldn't win. Thanks, though. We're going to keep aiming higher. Um, you definitely could have won. Jesus Christ, that was nuts. Yep, I, you're happy, cool, serious battle. Yep. 
Um, wow. I feel like I need to go train more. It's, it's, it's quite the Pokemon game, though, that this late into the post-game, it still feels like you're not high enough level. God. Alright, come on. Let me go. Let me, let me, let me walk forward. I know, we've done this before. It's only the second time I've beat her, though. Yes, strength knows no bounds. Cool. Get my guys put in here real quick. And that'll probably be the episode. Um, yeah, I think this is probably a good stopping point. Let's let's show off the team at their new levels. And then, then we'll call it a day, right? Because, like, I noticed something recently. I, I mean, I had noticed it before, but I really, I really started thinking about it recently. My team has a pretty substantial weakness to um, fighting type. God. Because um, Lucario, um, Zoroark, and Sawsbuck are all weak to fighting type. And yet, I, I very rarely encounter fighting types that I feel are strong enough to truly take advantage of that. Um, so it, I didn't really feel it throughout the game. Lately, though, it always feels like every Pokemon has, like, like every every prominent trainer has a team with that has at least one Pokemon that has like a Focus Blast or something on it. It's starting to get really frustrating. Still really like this team though. Um, but yeah, so next time we're gonna go battle somebody else really cool and important. I don't care about this at all. Um, and um, yeah, then we'll, we'll go on from there and, and do more adventure stuff. <laughs>